And we're about to speak to Miss Flirt. Katia, of course, is one of the authors from How to Get the Woman You Want and, hang on, How to Get the One You Want.com is the website. That's easier. It's How to Get the Woman You Want and How to Get the Man You Want. It's all in one book, but you can jump on the website and check out all the details. Morning. Good morning. How are you? All right, mate. We're going to talk relationships this week, and Ooh. it's more about the little turn-offs, like what turns a guy off in a relationship and what turns a girl off in a relationship. We're sitting with pins poised. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the big turn-offs, not the little ones. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, huge turn-offs. <laughs> huge turn-offs, yes, for both men and women. So we're both at fault on this one, I think. What are they? Um, you, well, you know, let's start with women, because I think, to be honest, women can be the worst offenders. The first one is women tend to turn into, you know, mother figure. Mm. You know, we turn into their mother, you know, we assume that they'll forget every little detail, we nag, we try and organise their lives, yes. we, you know, we feel responsible for them or we take over or we go every every little detail to the point where we're almost smothering them. So that's one of the biggest ones. Yeah, you know, that's, probably all, being nagged. that's probably all you need to say. Thanks for your time <laughs> this week, mate. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's all you now, need to now, say. Now. Stop nagging! <laughs> you know, um, and, you know, on the other end of the coin, one of the biggest mistakes that men make is obviously they're not skilled in communication with women. They either don't listen, they don't share their feelings, and then they get to the point where then they explode, or when the going gets tough, they simply walk out the door, which is obviously not good. Uh, what they don't actually, for a lot of women, you know, the biggest problem was that they don't actually communicate what they need to feel happy or to, you know, to feel satisfied. And so then women are then left trying to be Miss Mind Reader, you know, and then, you know, when women try and read minds, they get themselves into all sorts of trouble because then they start imagining all the things that actually aren't reality, but, you know, they sort of create their own little world of what they think is going on, which is kind of a bit dangerous. Do you think it's possible for a woman to stop mothering someone as it is impossible for a guy to actually share his emotions sometimes? Like, all women <laughs> just naturally think guys are idiots. So oh, you know. that's a bit harsh. <laughs> so oh. you have to tell us things. Isn't that natural? Terrible. <laughs> Oh, All no. women no. think guys are idiots. Miss no, Kim, Miss Kim's, Kim's agreeing with me. No. <laughs> Look, I'm sure there are a lot of women out there who do think that, but... <laughs> Not all of us, not all of us, I assure you. So it's mainly the uh, try and pull back on the nagging or trying to pull back on uh, telling you what to do and the guys have got to talk a bit more, have they? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, you know, women also, unfortunately, women can turn into little mystics. It's, in other words, they see guys' potential and they think, oh, look at that guy, you know, he'd be a great date, but... You know, we've got to change his dress sense. You know, he eats with his mouth full and spills stuff everywhere. You know, uh, he's a bit, you know, maybe a bit of a bogan, whatever you want to say. Uh, uh, and then we go and try and change him. And the thing about it is that, you know, really, if you've met somebody and you kind of think they're all right, then it doesn't do much for ego when you try and change every little detail about yes. them. And usually within that first month, everything's perfect. And then after that first month, you know, everything needs to be changed and rearranged. And, and a lot of guys actually found that a really big turn off you know as well a lot of women you know one of the things is you know they become how can I say perhaps a little desperate to commit early on you know they want to get that emotional commitment they want guys to spill emotionally and also perhaps commit to a more of a long-term thing you know and the, that, that again becomes a bit of a nagging thing and it just maybe a little bit desperate you know and a bit of a turn off for guys there too you it know they want to, if they're going to commit they want you know to think that it's their idea not that they've been bullied into it it's a it's a horrible question you've been dating for three weeks and suddenly the girl just goes where do you think this is heading yes and all of a yes. sudden you're turning the volume up on the tv you're doing <laughs> yes. everything oh, i don't know Let's just enjoy what we've got. You're, <laughs> yeah. you're rattling off all that stuff. You're, or you're running out the door, you know, quicker than you can say, you know, see you later, alligator, and you're halfway down the street. <laughs> and the girl's wondering, where's it gone? Yes. What happened? Where do you think it's going? As they get up <laughs> to... Don't you um... love me anymore? <laughs> <laughs> As they get up to that 35-year-old mark, though, when, uh, you know, the bo the body clock is ticking, that might not be a bad thing sometimes. Is this going anywhere? Yes. No, see you later. Well, you know what? 
But I, I guess the easiest way to make your guy commit, rather than, you know, begging him for it, um, is to kind of make him think it's his idea. So show him what a wonderful catch you'd be and, and let him go out with his friends and show him that being married to you doesn't mean he's going to be tied down watching romantic DVDs every Saturday <gasps> night. But rather than, hey, no, you'll get lots of sex, you'll get freedom, you know, because that's what they're worried about. They're worried that, you know, I mean, they've heard all these things that when you commit to a woman, you're going to lose your freedom, you're going to have no sex life, you know, you're going to be, that's it, you know, your life as you know it is over you just so described having a child that's not the case. <laughs> <laughs> all right mate so basically uh, I, I get all your advice but i must say for anyone out there if you've dated a girl for three weeks and then one night you have a night at home on the you know watching a movie and suddenly you look next to her and she's <laughs> knitting booties <laughs> oh, <run. laughs> <laughs> where do you think this is going all righty miss foot thanks for joining us i know you're in new zealand go back and help some of those new zealanders because i know they've got no idea when it comes to dating <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See you later, mate. See you, guys. The website, how to get the one you want dot com. Cutty, you can jump on there. All your dating tips online. Jump on there. Check it out. Order the book. Fantastic stuff.